a hearing for a 20-year-old Ash Dubula man charged in the beating death of his pregnant girlfriend and unborn child was continued Thursday in Ash Dubula Municipal Court because autopsy reports from the Cuyahoga County coroner are incomplete. Marquis Daquan Brown of 922 West 48th Street appeared before Judge Albert Camplice with public defender Dean DePaulo. Brown is accused in the death of 17-year-old Tasha Marie Ramirez Sedano and the unborn child. She was eight months pregnant. Assistant City Prosecutor Lori Lamer made the request for the postponement. Topalo said the defense had no problem with the postponement. He also said Brown would not be waiving his right to a preliminary hearing, a common procedure. In preliminary hearings, enough evidence is presented to determine if a crime has been committed and there is probable cause the person in custody committed the crime and should be bound over to common pleas court. All sides agreed to attempt to have the hearing on June 12th or 13th if possible. Otherwise, Camp Police said it would have to be held the following week when Topalo is on vacation. Richard Danolfo is assisting Topalo in the case and may be required to fill in. results. It's my understanding they are not prepared as of yet. Uh, those are coming from the Cuyahoga County Coroner's Office. Uh, we have had some, our office has had some conversation with uh, the Coroner's Office. Uh, I believe that the coroner that was involved in this uh, was involved in another trial uh, and has not had time to uh, review some additional information uh, before he makes his findings. So we would ask uh, in the interest of justice uh, and not for the purpose of delay to uh, continue this matter. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, there's uh, no objection to this continuance. Um, uh, I think the defense would benefit from having that information presented uh, in court also. Uh, Mr. Brown does not wish to waive his right to the preliminary hearing, um, but I would make the court aware I'm going to be unavailable after next, I'll be available next week, but then the following week I will be on vacation, so I'm hoping if this gets rescheduled, it could be rescheduled possibly even next week. Um, myself and Richard Donalto, though, will be handling the case together, and I don't know if he may be available at another time. The prosecutor, any guidance on that issue? If we could set it as late in the week as possible, although I will know probably tomorrow uh, whether or not we have a jury convening um, next Friday, but if we could set it for Thursday or Friday. That would be a benefit. Brown allegedly beat his girlfriend about the face the morning of May 25th. Police were called. Brown was arrested for domestic violence. Sedano was treated at Ashtabula County Medical Center and released. Returning home, her breathing became erratic and an ambulance was called, but she died. Two murder charges were subsequently added. Brown remains in jail with bond at $820,000 or surety. He turns 21 on June 11th.